Hello everybody and welcome to a special segment on Omnia TV. Today our segment is about Easter. But before we start, let me introduce you to my two lovely assistants. I have here with me today Sandra and my lovely Christine. Welcome to the show girls. So today we'll be decorating uh, what we love to do on Easter with the kids is decorating eggs, uh, dyeing them, coloring them. We're going to be showing you some tricks, some uh, special decorating uh, kits that you can buy from any stores and uh, enjoy all this great fun Easter time with the family. So let's get started. So the first step to decorating uh, Easter eggs is you boil the white eggs. You usually buy large just so that you can decorate on them on their surfaces so that they can be um, a bigger surface basically. So we've boiled the eggs and the next step we're going to do is we're just going to show how to dye an egg. We've already put each tablets that look like this into these containers and what you do is you put warm water into each container and mix the tablet with the stir stick just mix it in so we've already done this step then you get your little um, egg holder and put in put it in any color that you want what color would you guys like to put today um, blue, blue? Okay, so we're going to dip that in, gently. And then you wait a couple minutes just so that the color grabs onto the egg. And then you move on to different ones because you can use various colors. Another trick that we can do is you grab a white egg and an elastic. You put the gently or else your egg will break you put the elastic around the egg and do a decoration like so you can put as many elastics as you want as long as you know that it will not break and then if you want you can Grab a clear crayon that come in the kits as well. And you can write messages on them and they will show while you are you take it out. So I'm just gonna put my name. And would you like to dip that please? Yes. So Sandra, what have you uh, decided to do to your egg? I've decided to put my name and Happy Easter on the back. Okay, in clear crayon. And then you're going to dip it into one of the colors? Yeah. All right, let's see. I've chosen pink as my color. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a crazy cool design with my crayon. It doesn't look like much now because it just looks like white on white. So Christy, what have you done to your egg? I wrote a friend's name on it so I could give it to them later. Oh, that's a very thoughtful idea. So what uh, color are you going to choose today? Um, I'm going to choose yellow. Okay, so... Okay, so each one have chosen a separate color and we just keep on doing this process. Now we're going to show you what they look like when they come out and um, how good they look. So I've chosen blue, so here's my egg. It's just a regular egg. There's the oh. Happy Easter. Wow. And there's my name. Wow. They came out nice and bright. And we go in ahead and put them in here so that they can dry. This is Christy's egg. It's a very light yellow color that she has uh, put her friend's name on it so she can give it to them on Easter. Then we've also uh, done a, a couple other ones. Let's see how they're, they're going. Oh yes, the one with the elastic on it. 
I've put my name on it as well. Now that we've covered most of the um, egg coloring, I would like to show you one more thing. This is a different type of kit uh, that you use to do a rainbow color. What you do is you put the egg in the bag, you pick the colors that you want to uh, put on your egg, and you dip it in the bag, and you kind of just shake it around, and then it comes out to be rainbowish and colorful. So we'll show you how that comes out. So we've done the tie-dye and this is how our tie-dye came out. We used uh, pink, purple and green. And you should let it dry so that the colors come out more vivid. So we're finishing up the coloring of the eggs and the last finishing touches would be uh, using some stickers to decorate the eggs and using these neat little placeholders that you can put the eggs in, that you, they would sit in. And then you would decorate your basket with the chocolate and all the eggs inside to complete your Easter basket look. So we've finished our Easter basket full of our decorated eggs. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Sandra, Christy, thank you for joining me. Did you have fun? Yes. All right, that's great. So I hope you have fun with your families while you're decorating your eggs. Have a happy Easter and we'll see you next time. Bye.